Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Uh, now I'll be working with you now on page 20 of the Key to Arabic uh, uh, Book 2. And that page is about preposition and the effects of preposition on the uh, nouns. To understand that, uh, first of all, preposition means like um, a particular ala, which is on, fi, in, ma'a, with, and so on. But let's have a look at uh, what what's happens when you have a preposition before a noun. Now, initially, you have learned this case ending, un and u, uh, in and e. There are more, but we're going to work with these first. Uh, first of all, the un is your d uh, default for a noun. A noun makes you start starting point is to dhamma, such as mu'allimun, a teacher, mu'allimun, a teacher. If you define that, the teacher, you will say al-mu'allimu, al-mu'allimu, so it becomes a single u. But when would you use this in or e as case ending for a noun. This is the subject of this particular page 20 of the book. Now, uh, let's make that slightly uh, in a simple way. So if I have a preposition before this noun, for instance, so this one is indefinite, indefinite noun, noun that is not specific, any teacher, a teacher. So if I have a preposition, let's say ma'a for instance, ma'a is one of the preposition, what means with, if I say ma'a and then mu'allim, so let's write mu'allim again, mu'allim, this time it's not going to end in un, in it's going to, it's still indefinite now, but this time the case ending has to be in, because of this preposition. So, ma'a mu'allimin, with a teacher. If I put ma'a before this defined noun, uh, which is al-mu'allimu, if I say ma'a, and then write this, al-mu'alli, al-mu'alli, this time it will be kesra, single because it is defined and because we have this preposition before it. So just compare and contrast. Mu'allimun, a teacher. There's nothing imposing itself on this mu'allim to change the case ending and the default ending. But because we have this ma'a, which is a preposition with the ending, the case ending of mu'allimun is now being changed to in mu'allimin, al-mu'allimu, the teacher, we have preposition before al-mu'allimu, it will end up to be mu'allimi, al-mu'allimi. So that is the effect of preposition. And there are more things that preposition does to a noun, but let's take them one at a time. That is the first one. So I will be explaining that I will display a chart in front of you and then we go through it so you can see what is happening. Okay, this, this are a few prepositions, there are more, but we just work with this. Uh, preposition and nouns used as prepositions, although strictly speaking, some of these are not actually preposition, but they are used as prepositions as well. So the effect will be the same. Um, ala, that's on or upon or against something. Baina, between. Khalfa, uh, behind. Bijiwari, near or close to. Ma'a, with. Bijanibi, next to or beside. Fi in or at, amama in front of or before, min from, tahta beneath, under, below. It's a few 
prepositions and nouns used as preposition that we are going to be working with, and also that uh, so on page uh, twenty and twenty-one, uh, twenty and twenty-one of the book. Now again, we are going to be working the next display with some of these nouns: masjidun, a mosque; uh, masrifun, a bank; maktabatun, library. Baytun, the house, Hadiqatun, the garden, Rufun, shelf. So when we put this into some kind of sentences, we will see the effect of placing any of these uh, prepositions before any of these nouns, we will see what are the changes going to occur.